Hello, and welcome to episode number 9 of Amiga Retro Games. Yes, my wife again, obviously. And today's game is going to be, uh, you've seen from the intro bit then, Lemmings 2 The Tribes, which was an absolute phenomenal game that, um, in sales figures that was, because when Lemmings came out, that took the world by storm. When Lemmings 2 came out on the Amiga, it grossed the highest uh, purchased game on any platform of that year. And it was created back in 1993 by Psychnosis and DMA Design. Now, as you know, Lemmings, um, it's Lemmings, basically, you've got to stop the, save as many of the little green-haired little runts as possible from dying. Except with Lemmings to the Tribe, it has a bit more of a storyline to it. Um, the gameplay remained mostly the same as the original game, requiring the player to lead all the Lemmings to the, their exit by giving them appropriate skills. But for the sequel one, the Tribes, numerous changes and additions were made in this sequel. First of all, there was an introduction movie, which was ahead of its time, obviously, uh, for a console or platform uh, or PC, you know, or computer of the time. Uh, it had a bit of a, gave you, gave an overview to the storyline. Secondly, there were now many, many, many more skills available to give to your lemmings. Unlike the eight original skills you could give in the original games, uh, there were a total of a hundred. In, in this one, there were a hundred. There were also a hundred. Get it right. There was still a total of 120 levels, but in this game, the 120 levels were divided into 10 levels for each of the 12 tribes. Uh, Lemmings 2 was not quite as popular as the original Lemmings, however, nor, it was, nor was it ported as, onto as many platforms. One complaint was that the many difficult, different skills were too confusing to players, despite the game's practice mode. Uh, but and, mind you, in spite of this, it was still, uh, like I say, it was well received, and in the UK, UK alone, it grossed the highest purchased game of the year in 1993. Anyway, the storyline behind Lemmings 2: The Tribes. Once upon a time, the twelve Lemming tribes of Lemming Island lived happily and peacefully. Are we all sitting comfortably, children? Because I have already begun. One day, however, a great darkness fell upon the land, as foretold in an ancient prophecy. This prophecy was told that only the only way the lemmings could survive was by a evacuating their island using the power of the lemming talisman. The talisman consisted of 12 pieces, each piece being owned by a member, you know, the tribes. One piece each was split between each tribe. With the help of this of the guide that has helped them before, referring to basically us. Um all the lemmings must now reach the center points in the island in order to escape their doom in the Ark. Over to the gameplay. The gameplay in Lemmings 2 differs from the original way a game in, fo in the following ways. As mentioned, there are more the there are many more 51 in total skills available in the game that you can use for, with your lemmings. Although no more than eight skills are available on each level, some of the skills are similar to the original ones, like digging and building and stuff like that. Others are all new, like several flying skills, for example. One skill, the attractor, will cause a lemming to play a musical instrument and have nearby lemmings stop walking and do a dance. That's a pretty good one, actually. I should have put that in the footage. The instrument uh, and the dancers uh, vary depending on which tribe you're playing at the time. So, say for example, you were doing a, uh, doing a level like that and you were playing the Highland Tribe, which is all based on Scotland and stuff like that, and traditional Highlander style stuff. The, the lemming that would play the instrument would be playing the bagpipes. If it was, um, if it was an uh, Egyptian level, I think they play, uh, well, I can't remember what the instrument's name is called, but you've seen snake charmers using, you know, that, it depends on which tribe you're playing at the time. Anyway, um, a practice mode is available in the game. And in this mode, any type of skill available can be selected for the player to experiment with. There is a choice of four different practice levels to actually use. Each tribe's levels can be started at any time. You don't have to play, say, the beach le uh, lemmings or before you go on to the next tribe. You can play any of the tribes at any given time. So if you get stuck on one, you can always go and try it and complete the other uh, tribes to get them to the center of you and then come back to that one at a later time. Very useful little gameplay point that was. Um, the player will also be rewarded with a bronze, silver or gold medal depending on how many lemmings are saved in the level. 
This will also dictate the type of talisman part received once all the tribes' levels are complete. To watch the outro and credits, a gold talisman, all golden talisman parts need to be won, as well as rescuing at least 20 lemmings from each tribe. Um, a new fast forward button and a fan button have been added to the controls. The fast forward button replaces the rate button of the original game, which would let you release more than more lemmings, uh, you know, at a time. That's been replaced with a fast forward button. All the lemmings still come out at a regular pace now, with no control over that. But with the fast forward button, if you manage to actually produce a safe path for them all to get to the exit and stuff like that, hit the fast forward button and just sit back and watch them all go happily on the merry way safely back to the exit. Um, the fan button turns the cursor into a little spinning fan, which when you press the left mouse button, uh, you can push around any flying lemmings. So if you've got a, a lemming that's on a jetpack or a whirlwind pin powered element or something like that, you use the fan, put it on a direction of it and it'll spin them around, move them around the, the map and everything. Similar additions are included. When, uh, include when falling from moderate heights instead of just dying lemmings will now stun themselves upon landing taking a second to get back up and continue walking lemmings still will die instantly from higher falls trampolines are included which will let uh, lemmings jump and bounce about cannons oh, I love the cannons cannons and catapults in levels will launch a lemming away it's great if you miss the miss time the judge <laughs> miss time and he's like ah! <laughs> flying straight off the map uh, also lemmings can grab onto wind powered uh, swing ropes which, uh, to allow them to travel across gaps. Levels can span uh, vertically now instead of just um, horizontally, mostly because of the flying skills. Lemmings with a permanent skill uh, have their colours switched for uh, switched for easier identification. So if you've got one that's a blocker, their colour will switch, so you know where that blocker is, or somebody with a permanent skill. Uh, lemmings, in court, lemmings caught in explosions will not die, they will just be temporarily stunned this time around. Now, down to the skills aspect. The various skills that lemmings are given in the tribes can be broken into two different classes. These are often referred to here as permanent, continuous, or temporary. A permanent skill, uh, their hair and shirt colours are swapped to make them easier to identify to the player. An example of a permanent skill is runner which makes the uh, selected lemming run for the rest of the level and jump over small gaps automatically. Uh, continuous skills are those that a lemming will continue doing until it is ordered to do something else. Encounters an obstacle or reaches the end of an appropriate terrain. For example, an example of continuous skill is the fencer, which will give the selected lemming a small sword and enable it to dig a tunnel uh, on a slight upward slant until there is no more dirt or until the sword hits something more solid, that, solid than just dirt. Temporary skills are carried out until an order is... Uh, blah, until another order, just like the continuous skills, but have an upper limit on how long the lemming will keep doing the skill. This may be due to the lemming running out of materials, or simply because there is a time limit on how long the skill can be used for. An example of a temporary skill is the laser blaster which will allow a lemming to make a vertical tunnel slowly by, by slowly blasting upwards. The laser beam has a long but limited range and is only active for a certain time. An alternative and overlapping group of skills can be made in terms of what they are doing in the surrounding environment. There are building skills, of course, which um, add bits to the other lemmings uh, so that the other lemmings can walk over, like example, pl planters or fillers. Removal skills, which will remove pieces of the ground, for example, the bazooka and the twister. Movement skills, which alter the way the lemming moves throughout its environment, like the roller or the diver. That's a good one if you want to try that one out, it's pretty funny. Uh, it causes a lemming to fire a projectile, uh, for example, an archer or the bazooka, that again is another funny one. And the wind skill, which causes the uh, lemming to be influenced by the fan, which the user controls, for example, the Icarus wings uh, or the twister again. <clears throat> the, the actual the tribes themselves there are a total like we said earlier there's a total of 12 tribes in the game they are they can include classic which is the classic lemmings from the first get set of games the circus the clip the cave lem uh, the shadows the space lemmings the outdoor ones the beach ones the sport ones the Egyptian ones the Highlander ones which I love I think they're hilarious they remind me of worms the game worms when you play those ones the polar ones and the medieval ones 
While the 12 different tribes of lemmings will generally have a set of skills that are more commonly associated with that tribe, there can be overlap between the available skill sets of each tribe. Each tribe will typically ha have its own style of traps. For example, space lemmings can be killed by an open airlock, while the outdoor lemmings must avoid being eaten by a giant frog. Uh, the levels are designed in a way that complements each tribe. Apart from that, each tribe has its own skill, own skin, skin and clothing colours, own entry method and own exit method, its own music and its own style of dancing for the entertainer skill. Functional differences of Lemmings to the tribes. Um, there are more. There are no functional differences between the tribes, save the classic one, uh, which has many of the new gameplay features turned off in order to play it similar, similar, uh, similarly, similar, similarly, similarly, similar to the original game. In this tribe, the Exploder follows the classic explosion type, for example. Uh, uh, with the Lemmings stopping at the end of. Uh, the countdown for a couple of seconds before exploding to shower in into a shower of debris. While a lemming is stopped, other lemmings can pass behind it, even if the lemming was a blocker prior to being an exploder. Skill sets for this tribe are restricted to the skills from the previous lemmings games. So you've only got in this in the classic tribe uh, the climber, the floater, the exploder, the blocker, the builder, the basher, the miner, and the digger making the gameplay for this tribe fairly similar to that of the original Lemmings game. Cosmetic differences to the game. Most of the tribes have green hair, white skin, blue clothes, just like the original Lemmings games. Exceptions to this include the Polar Tribe, where, where they have light blue hair and blue clothing, a reflection of the cold environment they live in, and the Highlander Tribe, um, orange hair, somewhat uh, a somewhat common sight in the Scottish Highlands, you know, red hair. And they also wear kills. Uh, not the, not always in the Scottish Highlands. I'm more about the Lemmings. Here. They they have red hair and kills. Yeah. Um, the music and dance styles of the tribe. This is the one thing I loved about the Lemmings too. The music and dance style of the tribes also reflect the nature of the tribes. The background music from the sports tribe has a very vibrant, bouncy beat to it, and then and the entertainer from the middle medieval tribes plays a few notes on, uh, on a lute. Methods of methods of entry and exit also differ between the tribe. Um, the entrances are usually in the form of two trapdoors that drop down, but can differ uh, a bit in this. Um, there's an upturned barrel used by the Highland Lemmings, and a dragon's head that is used for the medieval tribe. Lemmings from the circus tribe carry out um, a bouncing turn before heading off into their next, their next level, while the Lemmings from space tribe floats away behind a planet. The game uh, was immediate, obviously originally done for the Amiga, but was also ported onto DOS, the Super NES, the Nintendo Game Boy, the Sega Mega Drive, the Mega CD, uh, or Sega CD, depending on what you want to call it, the Acorn Archimedes, and the Atari ST FM, and the FM, town, uh, FM Towns. Uh, and the next game in the Lemmings series, after Lemmings 2, is All New World of Lemmings, which was released in 1994, which continues the storyline of Lemmings to the Tribes, uh, with the Egyptian and Shadow, with the, continues the storyline from uh, the Tribes with the Egyptian, Shadow and Classic Tribes alone only. So, yeah, a little bit of insight into the old game Lemmings to the Tribes, a classic game from uh, DMA and Psychnosis, released in 1993, um, came on three, three floppy disks and uses your mouse and gamepad or gamepad so there you go anyway I think this may be it may be the last episode of 2007 for Amiga Retro especially with Christmas coming up maybe don't hold me to that episode 10 may come out just before New Year if not I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year and I will no doubt see you in 2008 with the next episode of Amiga Retro if it doesn't come out just before New Year so until then have a good one.